The instrument surgeon's knot is largely the same as the reef knot, except that it involves performing an initial double throw rather than a single throw. The benefit of the instrument surgeon's knot is that it creates a knot that is more secure and won't slip between throws. It does this because this initial double throw creates more friction between the suture material and stops it from loosening. So the instrument surgeon's knot is particularly useful when we're closing wounds that may be under more tension. We will start by demonstrating the process with the instrument in our right hand, and then later we'll show it using our left hand. We start by holding the end of the suture closest to us in our left hand. The needle holder in our right hand is held out horizontally over the suture. The left hand then loops the suture up and over the instrument, on this occasion twice as opposed to once as we would for a normal reef knot. The instrument is then used to pick up the end of the suture that lies away from us. And this is then pulled towards us through the loop in the process, whilst the left hand moves away from us at 180 degrees. This process of crossing the hands allows us to nicely lay the double throw of the suture. We reposition the instrument holder over the suture again, and then the left hand, which is holding the suture end lying away from us, loops the suture over and around the needle holder, but on this occasion, we only form one loop. We pick up the suture end lying closest to us with the instrument and pull it through the loop, taking it away from us at 180 degrees. This forms the second throw of our instrument surgeon's knot. To further secure the surgeon's knot, we then perform another single throw, ending with our left hand lying away from us. Now let's have a look at the tie being performed for those of you who are going to hold the instrument in your left hand. We start by holding the end of the suture closest to us in our right hand. The needle holder in our left hand is held out horizontally, lying over the suture. The right hand then loops the suture over the instrument twice to form two loops. The needle holder is then used to pick up the end of the suture that lies away from us and pulls it towards us, passing it through the loop as it does so. Note at the same time, the right hand moves away from us at 180 degrees. The needle holder is again positioned horizontally, lying over the suture. The right hand then loops the suture that lies away from us, over and around the instrument once. The instrument is then used to pick up the suture end lying closest to us and pull it through the loop, taking it away from us in the process. Again, note the crossing of the hands with each throw and how this allows each of the throws to lie flat. Lastly, we perform an additional single throw to help secure our surgeon's knot and prevent it slipping and coming undone.